Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Figured I'd do a review of my new dishwasher, which is a Miele uh, G4205SC dishwasher. This is the uh, kind of the lower end of the spectrum dishwasher. And now, um, why did I purchase a Miele? Well, we own several pieces of rental property, and so I, I have a lot of appliances. And we just found that all the American brand name dishwashers and appliances in general are horrible. They they don't last, they're expensive, and they're just substandard. So I went to my local dealer and asked him what was the best dishwasher that he had, th th you know, that would last a while. And out of a couple of different high-end retailers, both of them told me the same name. They told me Melee. Um was about the best they had to offer and they said it was around a 20 year dishwasher. So then I asked the uh, the sales guy, I'm like, you know, this is a German made dishwasher and I, I you know, am I going to have any type of problems installing it? You know, are there any like IKEA type issues that'll come and bite you when you when you go to install this dishwasher versus a regular American brand? And of course, he told me no <clears throat> and um it said it's just like any other dishwasher, so I purchased it. And uh, when the dishwasher came, I realized that he was a liar. So I just want to kind of showcase uh, any potential buyer of what you may need to consider with uh, with a Miele purchase. Now, the Miele is a uh, it's a narrower dishwasher than most most other ones. Most uh, uh, standard dishwashers fit in a 24-inch cabinet, and uh, this dishwasher right here is 23 and 5 eighths. Therefore, we have dishes in there. Um, therefore, I needed to defer this cabinet. My my cabinet was 24 and a quarter inches wide, and per the instructions, which aren't very clear on how to install it, it uh, it side mounts. This is just a cap, and there's about a screw. This probably about, I don't know, an inch, an inch and a half long, and that's all it is. And so in order to keep from having a gap over on on the sides here, uh, it's flush up on this side, and then I put a piece of three-quarter inch um, maple in there and uh, furred that out and had to, you know, um, stain. It's not quite uh, darkened over time like my cabinet wood is, but it will. And so um, that's one thing that you need to be can. Uh, Take into consideration when installing this dishwasher is your uh, is your cabinet is it wide enough? So I got pretty lucky. I could just go down to Home Depot and buy a, uh, a three quarter inch piece of wood and, and just uh, you know just screw it in the side there. Then the other issue that I ran into was the fact that I needed an outlet. This dishwasher requires an outlet. And per the uh, the instructions. Um, it, they indicated to me that you couldn't have the, the power outlet in the same cabinet as the dishwasher. I may be incorrect on this, but I elected to, uh, to um, you know, just run the existing cord and put it in a junction box and hook the power cable up to that and then um, provide the power. I initially put it to that one, <laughs> which was my garbage disposal, and realized that that's not going to work because that's a switched outlet. So don't make that mistake. Also, um, we have a vent on the top of the sink here that the old dishwasher went to. Once this is basically, it goes down into a Y. One side's three quarter, one side's half inch. My old dishwasher went to the half inch side. The, the drain ran to the half inch side, but that didn't work. So the melee drain's a little bit bigger, and so I had to directly connect that right to my disposal to make that work. Um, which isn't a big deal. Uh, it came with the uh, the water line already attached to it, and it also came pre-wired um, for me. Now, here's another thing. Miele pro sells you a white dishwasher with a black kick plate, and I thought that was kind of odd, but oh well, you know. I called Miele and they told me that they would send me a white one because I'm kind of picky about that. But on top of that, you have to rip, you have to cut, and I don't know why they designed it like this, must be for Europe or something, but you have to rip 
this kick plate down. It's actually taller than this. I don't know if you can see my finger in there. So you have to open the door and see where it swings in and then mark a line there and then cut it. You know, so I had a table saw. It was fairly easy for me to do. But, I mean, I've never heard of, you know, using a, a table saw to cook a kip, kick plate on a, on a dishwasher. Um... What do we think of it? The impressions that we have of this dishwasher, it's really nice. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you how we load it. These dishes are dirty, so, I mean, we don't do, do anything fancy with this. This is like caked on spaghetti, and it will clean that right up. The dishwasher is also very quiet. Um, no complaints on that. And, you know, with the initial problems that we had on installing it i can say that after it's installed it's probably one of the nicest dishwashers as far as fit and finish that, that i've ever had so there's little complaint there it does a very good job of uh cleaning our dishes but drying the plastics don't dry that well but they never did in the other one so i hope this helps anybody that may be interested in a melee dishwasher